Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sophie Society. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. And for today, I have an Amazon quarantine and just a random haul. We have all been in quarantine, ordering unnecessary stuff or necessary things. And I want to share with you guys a few things that I got. Okay, so let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I got were some um, glasses, just the frames, and these are actually glasses that help protect against like computer light, your phone screen, TV screen, it has the blue lens in them, and it's called Sojo's. And I was actually pleasantly surprised when these came in the mail because I've ordered frames from Amazon before and they're kind of just cheap and flimsy. But these look really like the packaging is very sleek. It's very like well put together. It comes in this little bag here. They, then they come wrapped again and they're like really sturdy. They're not just flimsy frames, like they're really sturdy quality. You guys can see those. So I decided, and I didn't get the clear ones. I wanted the clear frames because that's uh, what I like. But these are, they have like a pinkish hint to them, if y'all can see that. And I really like these. But like I said, they're very sturdy, very sturdy, not just flimsy lenses. So I'm going to leave these on for the rest of the video. Um, and then also, still, it comes with the little cleaning like cloth that you use to clean your uh, lens with and it comes with a dust bag and y'all it comes with a little screwdriver thing just in case one of the screws comes out Cha. what is this I don't know what this is look like a keychain or something and it comes with a blue light test card so it says how to Use blue light test card. Light torch to be while the rest of the It gives you a little card to test and see if it's really helping your eyes or not. Very, very efficient uh, with this brand Sojo's from Amazon. So love these glasses. Good purchase. Next, I got a couple items from the Walita Waleta brand. And I know they sell this at Target, I think. Um, but I decided to get a few items from Amazon. So I really like the body butter from the Willetta brand, if you guys can see that. Uh, the butter isn't as thick as I, when I think butter, I, I don't know, I think really thick and just kind of uncomfortable. But this is a really, really nice consistency. I mean, it goes right into the skin and it actually keeps me moisturized. And I have eczema and dry skin and this, I really like it. I don't care too much about the smell but um, it works really good for moisturizing. So I got the body butter. I also got the Skin Food, uh, what is this? Original Ultra Rich Cream. And I will say, this is what I really, I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's okay. It's, see, I would expect the butter to be thicker than the cream, but no, the cream is very, very, very thick and almost greasy in a way, um, which I don't like. But I find myself, right before I go to bed, I wash my hands and my hands are super duper duper dry and I just have to sit beside my bed. I put some on and surprisingly, like once you first put it on, it's very thick and greasy, which I don't like, but literally maybe like five minutes later, it really absorbs into the skin. It, it leaves a nice feeling on the skin. So I got the ultra rich cream as well. So this is okay. It's okay. And lastly, from the Waleta, Waleta, Waleta brand, I got the skin food lip butter. This is my least favorite product. It's very, very thin and very, I don't want to say watery, but I like my lip products to be a little on the thicker side and this is very greasy. There we go. Thin and greasy. Don't like it. So next from Amazon, I went ahead and got um, a personalized necklace. This one just has my name on it. It says Sophie and I was really trying to find a name necklace from an actual jewelry place but I couldn't really find one in my budget 
and this was affordable and the review said that they were pretty good so I went ahead and got it I will say it's a little like the name itself is a little smaller than I expected but I really like it the chain is nice um, so far so good I've had it what like a month now um, I don't like showering or anything but I really do like it it's cute and I like the cursive print that they made the name in so I got this necklace Next, I randomly got, and it came in this little small velvet dust bag here. This is a, just one of those rings that are really uh, trendy and popular. People usually get three of them and stack them up on one finger or whatever. So I got this, um, and yeah, it just looks like this. And what made me mad, because it's really nice, I really like it. Um, this one ring I think was maybe like $12 and then the next week I go to Target and see a three pack of these for like $12 I was like ugh. anyways um, it's cute looks nice on my hand so I thought it was pretty cute next I got some random satin or silk hair scrunchies um, and this is from Amazon, but I don't know what brand this is. V-A-G-A, -A, Vaga, Vega. In the back says the world's favorite nail art brand. This is a nail art play. I don't know, but y'all know sometimes Amazon is a little weird. But these are what they look like. These are the colors I got. Look how shiny. These are like neutral tone colors, just black, brown, bronze, rose, kind of bluish gray, and then like an ivory color. So I got these so I can put my hair up with. Part of the natural hair community, you know, cotton is a no, you need silk or satin, and that's what I got. A six pack of these, and this was very affordable. I think this was like five dollars, five, six, four dollars, something like that. So really love these. Next is really random, but actually very useful. I got this little guy here. This is a, an SD card holder. So if you are a content creator, digital content creator or whatever, I have two more SD cards that I'm using right now, but they go in these spots. This is an SD card holder. I don't know about y'all, but I'm always misplacing my SD cards because there's no specific place for them. So I went and found one. I think this was like $9, I think. And it, it houses all my SD cards. And this is a great purchase, a great investment. Next, super random. This isn't even random because I was going to get this regardless. But this is a puppy ID. If y'all don't know, I recently just got a dog and this, oh, can y'all see my address? I hope not. Anyways, I got him a an ID with his picture on it. It looks like a, I live in Georgia, so it looks like a Georgia driver's license. And it has the phone number, his breed, his weight, his height, eye color, my address, my mom's phone number, his date of birth, everything. And he wears this on his little collar. So I thought this was really cute. Here is my dog, y'all. Say hey, Nipsey. This is Nipsey. Nipsey Blanco. Hello, Nipsey. Alright, next, randomly, I got two books, so I've been really into hearing other people talk about how they recently got into reading self-help books, manifestation books, um, books to help your mind grow and think beyond, you know, whatever. So I got these two books here. This one is Act and it is Given. Um, a very popular New York Times bestseller and it's um, The Teachings of Abraham by Esther and Jerry Hicks. So I've heard, so heard so many great things about this book from Charlemagne the God to Big Sean to uh, Russell Simmons, all of those kind of people. And so I got this book, ain't gonna lie to you, I'm on probably page 10, but I am going to read this book. 
And then I also got the Terry Cole Whittaker, Whittaker book, which is, which I'm really excited to read this. This book is called What You Think of Me is None of My Business. Um, and I got this because when I was younger, not young like 10, younger like teenage years, and even like 20, 21, 22, um, you know, you just kind of, you're always concerned about what others think of you or what they're going to say if you do something. But I feel like you're not really living if you living your life for other people. You have to live for yourself and don't give a crap what other people think about you. What they think of you is none of your business. So I want to read this to help me. So I got that, got these two books, I'm really excited about them. And then I got a few clothing items, nothing major. So I got this three pack of biker shorts in like a nude color, nude for who, not black people, but a nude color, a black color, and then white. And um, these are pretty, pretty, pretty thin. Um, I definitely would never wear the white ones out, like just by themselves, because they're almost see-through. The black, they're cool, uh, they're okay, but they're just super duper thin. And then the new color I have not tried on yet, but I got a three pack of these. So, I got this Sade t-shirt here. If you guys don't know who Sade is, then Google her. She's a singer. But I got this Sade shirt and I thought it was really cute to wear with some biker shorts. This is summertime. We not doing a whole bunch of clothes, okay? It's hot here in Georgia, okay? All right, and that is it for my Amazon portion of this video. That's everything I got from Amazon. Um, next, I just wanna mention two random, random, random things that I ordered I just thought I would share with you guys. First thing, I got if y'all are probably know already about this brand, the J Sculpt Waist Shaper Sweat Belt. Um, and yeah, her brand is really popular. Jasmine, she has a great body, and a lot of people wear this belt. And uh, I decided to order one because I do intend on taking my weight loss journey way more serious so I ordered this belt here um yeah I just wanted to show you guys and lastly this is hella random but it's a small black business that I wanted to support and I think she has really cool dope um clothing so this is from a brand called working woman and y'all should check her out uh everyday comfort for the working woman and it comes with this thank you for copping online okay and this is what I ordered. I just got one thing. I do want to get her um, shorts, but it's just a sweatshirt that says working woman. And the print of this gives me very, I don't want to say 80s, maybe early 90s vibes, like when the mom had the mom jeans and like this kind of print. So it just says working woman. I thought this was really cute and different. So. I really like that. Make sure you guys check out Working Woman. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed it as much as I did recording it, darling, hit that subscribe button because I am trying to push out more content so I can get to a thousand subscribers. Comment down below and give this video a like and a thumbs up and all that good stuff. And also, if you guys want to check out me and my sister's podcast, YouTube show, there will be a link down below. It's called Millennials Voice Podcast. We have some great videos over there. And I will see you guys in my next video.